Hi, this is Neil from the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs, where we help people just like you start selling things on Amazon, whether that's right here in Australia or indeed right around the world. We've got over 2,000 great members all selling things on Amazon. You can find out more by going to www.aussieonlineentrepreneurs.com.au. In this video, we're going to show you a really, really great Amazon hack to uh, instantly get hundreds of reviews by using listing variation manipulation techniques. I'm going to start with a black hat, I suppose it is. Well, let me put it this way. Strictly speaking, it is against, I think, against Amazon's terms of service. However, Amazon's terms of service are so broad, I sometimes feel like wiping your ass would be against Amazon's terms of service. That's how broad those little things are. If you've ever read them, you could pretty much get yourself suspended for most things that you do in life. Anyway, so this is all about how to manipulate and to utilize um, Amazon variations to get new products to market with a lot of reviews really, really quickly. So that's what it's about. So here's what's going on. So here's what I was just looking at the other day. I was actually looking at selling these. Uh, I'm not a golfer, but I've got a friend of mine who is a golfer and they were telling me all about these. So I looked at just, just looked anyway. So found these Callaway, obviously big company. Here's what they are doing. I noticed First of all, look at all these variations here. That's one variation. That's another variation. Notice it's a totally different product. And then these have got these variations here and this variation here. Totally different product though, you know, it's surprising. Variations are usually for things like colors or sizes or things like that. Anyway, I scrolled down, da -da -da, I thought, shit, 3,000 reviews, 3,100 ratings, that's a lot. I wonder how long this has been on. So I scroll down, turns out, date first available, March the 12th. What's that? That's like two weeks ago. So in two weeks, that product has had 3,100 ratings, which is a lot. So I started to think to myself, how the hell did they do that? Turns out they manipulated their um, listing variations and I'm gonna show you how they did it. And then you, in your wisdom, in your loveliness, may decide to do that too. Because I know that I freaking am going to do this <coughs> every time I can. So uh, here's what they did. So they had a product, uh, the Golf, the Range Finder, which is to find out how far something is for uh, when you're going to hit the golf ball. Notice my complete lack of golfing terminology coming to the fore here. So I did some research and here's one from 2019, a review. I noticed this particular thing here. It's a Tor S. They don't actually sell this anymore. So they don't actually sell that product anymore. So I think what they did was they, let's just go to five, so let's just go to one star reviews. I think what they did was they looked at their product listing and they had all these reviews on it for an old product and then it looks like they completely dumped that product in that particular format and then listed these new ones so it says here look very disappointed in this product very inaccurate there's actually quite a few reviews like this where it's saying it's not the same product they've sold me something different quite a few of those are going on so what they have done is they started with one product, which was a range finder, but nothing like any of these. Uh, then when they discontinued that and they looks like they found a new supplier or something like that, they then simply added to the existing listing, these new range finders, which are completely different. Um, so they retain their ratings. They retain their um, sales history, their sales velocity, etc, etc, etc. I think this is a friggin awesome idea. If you can do it, I think it's an awesome idea. Now, 
Full disclosure, here is, I'll put this link in here for you. Here is what Amazon says about listing variations, send to all. So here's what they say about variations, okay? Look, it's pretty obvious they're saying like, it should be a color variation or a flavor variation or a size variation. That's what variations are for, not for completely different products within the same niche of product. Anyway, so that's what they say. But clearly Amazon is not applying these terms of service because evidence is there for us all to see. I think as a way of getting your um, products to be instantly launched, this is a bloody awesome thing. So one thing I'm going to do, first thing I'm going to do is look at putting uh, my existing products that I've got. And if I can indeed add a variation, because not all products you can put a variation on. Um, but if you can't, then you might just consider changing the category until you can. Uh, if I can do, then I'm going to go back and look at the products and see about adding new products that are same, same, but different in the same way that this is same, same, but different or very different. I'm going to add new products into them. Okay. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do as well is see if I can find existing products that I can start to sell. Um, let's just see if I can figure out how to show you something like that. Let's just go to golf. <laughs> Uh, golf balls, accessories, and I'm going to go and try and find, what's this, gotcha ball retriever, a product that I can sell, oh, it's because I'm going here, that's why, uh, there you go, you guys know where I live now, has that changed up? No, it hasn't, that's why, I'm not, I'm because I'm not, it's because I'm logged in, so, um, where I can sell and then I'm going to see if I can hijack the listing and add something into it as well. All right. So I'm going to try that as well as a strategy to get my new products to instantly have all of these reviews. I think it's a bloody awesome idea. Clearly, um, listing variation abuse is against terms of service again, but clearly uh, Amazon is turning a blind eye to it because the evidence is there, much tells you that. So questions about that? Uh, ben says you can do the same thing on eBay. Thanks for that, Benno. Uh, so if you redo the packaging, etc., list as variation. Exactly, Chrissy, that's what I'm thinking. Looks like a creation date was for style, sort of other date. Yeah, but it's also product because that's when the listing was actually first done as well. Hmm. I'm guessing that, but, but I'm thinking if it's in the same realm, then it ought to be the case that it's worth a try. Because the worst thing that's going to happen is Amazon says no, suppresses that specific listing, makes you take it out of the variation and put it into its own unique one. As far as I can tell, that's your worst case scenario. So I'm definitely going to give that a check out. That video was from my regular every week Monday night open Q&A session where the members of the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs get to ask me anything at all about selling their products on Amazon, whether that's right here in Australia or indeed right around the world. If you'd like to find out more about becoming an Aussie Online Entrepreneur, you can go to www.aussieonlineentrepreneurs.com.au where you'll be joining over 2,000 and other larrikins and crazy people as we all build our own cash out creating businesses on Amazon. Link is in the description. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.